G'day ladies and gentlemen, Beachy Bruce here for the Mine Lab Show. This one's a tech tip on the Equinox 900. I'm going to run you through the basic settings and buttons. So all of these buttons here are mounted onto the side of the machine. So this one's the power. This is the light. So if you push that on, you get the backlight. If you press and hold, you get the rear spotlight. Jumping across to this side, so we have the wireless button. So that's going to be for connecting to your wireless headphones that you got with the unit. Turning it on and off is a simple momentary press. Press and hold will activate the pairing mode. This is the user profile button. If you press and hold this on any given screen, it will take a snapshot of that screen, so all the settings, and it will save that for later use. So you can then change to anywhere else, and say you have a setting where it may have set the machine up to be more sensitive, or with iron bias, more sensitive, something along those lines, you can just quickly press the user button and that will bring you back to that menu or that setting. And then you can simply press it again to turn that setting off again. Quite a powerful little tool, this one. The next we have the cog, which is how you access the menu. Plus and minus, so as you go through the menu and you reach values that you can change, you use the plus and minus button. Accept, reject, so the tick and the cross. Here we have the frequency button, so at the moment it's on multi, but we can change that to whatever we like. This is the pinpoint button, also doubles as the back button. And on any program, you can press the horseshoe button and that will activate a wide open mode. Let me show you. So this now is added in for the ferrous area. I can turn it off again. And that brings us to the coil button, which changes the program so you can scan through. So now we're going to run through the basic settings. So we have the settings button, which is the cog in the center. So doing this in order, I guess, realistically, you would choose whatever particular program you want. I'm just going to say randomly choose beach one. Now I go to the menu button, which is the cog in the center. This is our noise cancel. You activate noise cancel by pressing the accept reject button. Away it goes, quick demo. Next one is our ground balance. So I'm simply cycling through these by pressing the cog button. If you hold this and then pump the coil, that then will ground balance the machine. If you press it once, it will bring up the auto tracking. If you press it again, it removes the auto tracking. Through to the next setting, this is our overall volume. So you can see that's up, so you can choose anywhere from 1 to 25. Our next menu is Threshold. So this is a threshold tone used for detecting very sensitive targets, where you put this constant tone in the background, which you can hear here. And then if I go over a very faint target that may not register as a TID on the machine, it will give me a tone break in that tone and then I can scan back in, dig a little bit of soil away and see whether it's a super deep target. This is generally used on the gold mode, not used too much on the other modes. I'm going to turn this back down again. Take us through to the next basic, which is where we choose how many tones we want to respond. So I can go down, so I've got one tone for everything. Two tones, so that'll be one for ferrous and one for everything else five tones, which will break it into the five regions through here. Next one is all tones. That will give me 119 tones approximately all the way through. And then the next one is DP. DP works on the principle that the higher a conductor, the higher the pitch, the lower the conductor, the lower the pitch, and then depth. So the deeper a target is, the quieter the volume is, the shallower the target is, the louder the volume is. Let's go through to the next option by using our cog button again. This is now where we can program, so we can accept and reject each one of these. So this is how you would program, so if I say hold it, I can bring it up to here. So I can remove pull tabs, typically at 31. By clicking the accept reject, I've removed that notch, and that will remove associated 31 pull tabs. However, bear in mind that I have pulled gold rings that register as a pull tab in that particular zone. So you need to be aware that when you notch things out, you may inadvertently notch out some good targets. 
The last setting that's on here in the basic row is the recovery speed. If I have this on eight, I can now have multiple targets underneath the coil at the same time and get a clear response from each target. It does sacrifice a bit of depth and it does sacrifice a bit of sensitivity. If I reduce this down to two or three, the power of this is that I'm now going to pick up finer targets that are deeper. However, in the same instance too, I've lost my ability to have multiple targets and separate them out under the coil. So just bear in mind there are pros and cons about all of these settings. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the basic settings for the Equinox 900. I'm going to be doing a video very shortly on the more advanced settings for this particular machine. Stay tuned for that in further episodes of the Mind Lab show. This has been Beachy Bruce, and I look forward to seeing you next time.